For today's video, we are going to talk about how to find the vertical asymptotes of a rational function and we are going to explain everything in details. On the first example, we have f of x equals x plus 5 all over x minus 4. To find the vertical asymptotes of a rational function, let us simply equate the denominator equal to 0. So let us have x minus 4 equal to 0. And let us move negative 4 to the side of 0. It will give us x equals 4. And this will be our vertical asymptote. On number 2, we have f of x equals 5 over x squared minus 9. So let us equate x squared minus 9 equal to 0. Let us move negative 9 on the other side of the equation. This will be x squared equals 9. And to simplify, let us square both sides of the equation. Let us cancel this one. So x equals square root of 9, that is positive and negative 3. So this will be our vertical asymptote. On example number 3, we have f of x equals x plus 6 all over x squared minus 2x minus 3. So to find the vertical asymptote, let us simply equate the denominator equal to 0. So let us have x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals to 0. So let us find the factors of this one. The factors of x squared, that is x and x. And what are the two numbers? If we multiply, we can get negative 3. And if we add, we can get negative 2. And that is negative 3 and positive 1. Negative 3 multiplied by positive 1 is negative 3. Negative 3 plus 1, that is negative 2. So let us equate x minus 3 equal to 0 and x plus 1 equal to 0. Let us move negative 3 and positive 1 on the other side of equation. This will be x equals 3 and x equals negative 1. So this will be our vertical asymptote. On number 4, we have f of x equals x minus 5 all over x squared minus 8x plus 12. So let us equate x squared minus 8x plus 12 equal to 0. Let us factor this one. The factors of x squared, that is x and x. And what are the two numbers? If we multiply, we can get 12. And if we add, we can get negative 8. And that is negative 6 and negative 2. Negative 6 multiplied by negative 2, that is positive 12. Negative 6 plus negative 2 is negative 8. Let us equate to 0. x minus 6 equal to 0. And x minus 2 equal to 0. Let us move negative 6 and negative 2 on the other side of equation. This will be x equals 6 and x equals 2. So this will be our vertical asymptote. On our last example, we have f of x equals 3x squared minus 8x minus 3 all over 2x squared plus 7x minus 4. To find the vertical asymptote, let us simply equate the denominator equal to 0. Let us have 2x squared plus 7x minus 4 equal to 0. Since the value of a is not equal to 1, let us multiply 2 and negative 4 and that is negative 8. And what are the two numbers? If we multiply, we can get negative 8 and if we add, we can get 7. And that is 8 and negative 1. 8 multiplied by negative 1, that is negative 8. 8 plus negative 1, that is 7. So let us have 2x squared and we are going to write 8 and negative 1 wherein we can factor the first term and last term. So let us write first 8, then we have x, and then we have negative 1, and then x minus 4 equal to 0. So as you can see, 7x is being replaced by 8x and negative 1x because 8x minus 1x, that is 7x. Let us factor by group. The greatest common factor between 2x squared and 8x, that is 2x. And let us divide 2x squared divided by 2x, that is x. 8x divided by 2x, that is 4. On the other side, the greatest common factor between negative 1x and negative 4, that is negative 1. And let us divide negative 1x divided by negative 1, that is x. Negative 4 divided by negative 1, that is 4. And to write the factors, since we have x plus 4, the other factor that is 2x minus 1. So let us equate to 0. This will be x plus 4 equal to 0. And 2x 
minus 1 equal to 0. Let us move 4 on the other side of equation together with negative 1. So x is negative 4 and 2x equals 1. Let us divide both sides by 2. Let us cancel this one. So x is 1 half. So the vertical asymptotes that is negative 4 and 1 half. So let me show you other solution on how we can find the factors of the given expression. Let us have 2x squared plus 7x minus 4 equal to 0. The value of a is 2, the value of b is 7, and c is negative 4. And let us use box method. Let us divide this one by 4. The first box will be ac followed by b, and then a over factor, and lastly we have a over factor. The value of a, that is 2, and the value of c is negative 4. Since we have ac, let us multiply the value of a and value of c. 2 multiplied by negative 4, that is negative 8. The value of b is 7. What are the two numbers? If we multiply, we can get negative 8, and if we add, we can get 7. And that is 8 and negative 1. And then, let us have the value of a, that is 2. And then, the first factor will be 8. So, we can simplify this one as 1 fourth. And then, let us have 2 and the other factor that is negative 1. So to write the factors, we have 1 fourth, that is 1x plus 4. And then we have 2 over negative 1. So we are going to have 2x minus 1. So let us equate to 0. This will be x plus 4 times 2x minus 1 equal to 0. So x plus 4 equal to 0 and 2x minus 1 equal to 0. Let us move 4 and negative 1 on the other side of equation. It will give us x equals negative 4 and x equals 1 half. So we come up with the same answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.